All right, so here is the fish tank after many, many moons. Now, actually, it hasn't been that long. About a month. Uh, getting it right as far as water quality. And I have taken pictures. As you can see, I'm getting a bad reflection here in front of the camera. But, as you can see, the water quality is amazing. Now, since I installed this dude right here. And what this is, is a UV filter to actually filter out and kill any bad bacteria. Actually, it'll kill every bacteria in the water. Um, which you will have to actually balance that with good bacteria, additives and whatnot. But, here you go. I actually threw some shrimp in. It's been a few days since I gave them shrimp. And, of course, they're not going to come up and eat it. Because, for whatever reason, even though these fish will hand feed every now and again like mussels or whatever. I didn't even know you could feed these fish mussels until recently. Um, they are skittish for some reason. I have no clue why. It's not like we bang on the tank or anything. And they sit close enough to me uh, right over to the right of this scene. And they see me every day. It's not like they don't sit there staring at me like, what, what is this dude doing? But here is my koi. Both of them are in a 30 gallon tank. They are 10 inches long each. I have gotten a pretty good measurement on them. So as you can see, they're doing quite nice. They're, they're, they're growing. I'm actually thinking about here soon upgrading to a 55 gallon tank so that they'll have plenty of room to spread out and grow any, uh, even larger than they are now. So there you go. I just wanted to get that and it's time to change the filter. I've noticed now I'm having to change the filters about every three days, every four days. Um, and that's simply whenever I pull it out, it's just gray matter, brown matter. It's not like it's caked up with a bunch of bio. I think it's just bio it's pulling out. Because whenever they stir it up um, in the rocks, and you can see the rock quality is, is good. But there's still bio matter that gets kicked up by them because koi like to forage uh, in the rocks. So yeah, there you go. And I have actually, on my live stream, I have been putting up the, uh, the live fish stream for like my BRB or Be Right Back type of things, AFK or whatever, if I'm leaving for a few moments. And oh yeah, look at back there. Look, look, look. There's a rare, oh, as the big fish goes over him. As you can see, he's pretty big too. There's the Placoticus, the algae eater back there. And he's about six inches long now, so... He's quite happy. I give him algae tablets, but that one right there, the dark one, he, he'll go and grab the algae tablets. It's vegetable algae, algae tablets that I put down in here. That one will actually go grab the algae tablets and swallow them whole now. It's like, what are you doing? So anyway, there you go. All right. I don't know why I wanted to even make this film, but I did. I wanted to make this film for everybody. Happy Koi! We beat the water, everybody. Oh, yeah, and by the way, the pH level and everything is good, too. It's a craft of the mind. Go out there and have some fun.